better health for everybody, every day. Transforming lives, three minutes at a time. Listen up. This is your daily health tip from The Good Company. Hey everybody, welcome back to today's health tip. This is Melissa from The Good Company and it is Sunday, my favorite day of the week because I try to do a little bit of extra self-care on Sundays. I try to start my morning with a workout and try to end it with a bath and try to pack in some good things throughout the day to remind myself that I'm important and that taking care of me is a priority. Today on Self-Care Sunday, I want to remind you that saying no is a good idea. It's a really good idea. We say yes to so much. We take on so much more than we can chew because we feel like we have to. And sometimes saying no is what we really need to do in our best interest, in the interest of our self-care. I listened to a podcast, I think it was with Dr. Mark Hyman, a couple days ago, and they were talking about the power of saying no and the fact that your first no is your cleanest no. If somebody says, I really need someone to volunteer for the parent activity on Thursday after school, can you do it? And you don't simply say no. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I have a commitment. If you say, oh, I would really love to help. You know, let me check my schedule. Maybe I can move something around. If you know in that point, at that point that your answer really is a no and you're saying a maybe, you're going to have to revisit that no and find another reason for that no. But if you say no from the very beginning, you cut it off at the quick and it is very clean and decisive. You're, it's going to go a lot further for you guys. So learning to say no, it's, it's learned. It's so easy for us to say yes to pacify people. But saying no when we mean no cleanly the first time is of real benefit to us. So if you are a yeser, raise your hand out there. If you are a yeser, put that hand down and start saying no. Take care of you. 